Hey y'all, so it's like 9 o'clock at night and I just curled my hair for no reason, so I'm like, why not make a video? My makeup isn't done, but my hair is done, kind of. So, anyways, today's video is going to be about second semester. Second semester started on January 3rd. It is January 17th, I believe. I'm so bad with dates, y'all. This is like our third week of the second semester, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how the semester is going thus far and what I expect this semester. Already, first sem second semester is so much different than first semester. Like, I said we started on January 3rd, y'all. Like, that was not a good day to start. Um... I was like still recovering from New Year's. I had just got back to Atlanta on like the 30, 30th and then the 31st was, you know, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. So everything was closed. Nothing was just working in my favor. I got my books like the day before classes started. So I really didn't have a have time to get ahead. Like last semester, I started reading early. I read, you know, for the whole week, the week before classes started. And I just felt so prepared and I was ready to tackle everything. That didn't happen this semester. I started off behind. Like, I was still waiting for one of my books to come in once the semester had already started. So, I mean, some of the professors were very accommodating and they like put the readings online because they knew people were like, were waiting for refund checks and things. Um, typically, we get our refund checks before classes start. So, that's good. But, you know, some people have technical difficulties and they were still waiting for their refunds. So, the professors were very understanding. I do appreciate that. Um, Second semester is also a lot harder because not only do I have to go to school to read, you know, to comprehend what I'm reading, but I also have to apply for jobs. So on top of all of that, um, I'm writing cover letters, doing resumes, like practicing my interview skills, re looking for jobs to apply for. So that's like a whole nother class. So instead of five classes, I'm taking six classes. Um, my five classes are constitutional law, criminal law, property, um, we have another semester of writing, and I also have an elective. So I'm going to talk about my classes just so you guys can understand a little bit about what I'm taking this semester. So constitutional law deals with the Constitution. The cases are so long, y'all. Like each case is 20 pages. It's so hard to read. It's so in-depth and so... A lot of it is from like the 1800s, 1900s, so it's really hard to read. Um, not a fan of con law. Mm -mm. I'm also taking criminal law and property. I say those two together because they're honestly very sim similar. Um, they're really fact-based, so like the cases will be really short, like one or two pages long, but when we discuss the case, we'll spend like an hour like digging and digging and digging for the facts. Um, criminal law is cool. That's probably my favorite class thus far this semester, but property is so petty, y'all. Like We were really reading this case, and they were arguing about 15 inches of land. I'm like, who cares? It's 15 inches of land. Like, it's 15 inches of land. Like, you really mad because my stairs is on your... Whatever, y'all. I was just so irritated. I'm like, wow. I really felt like I was wasting my time. But it's something we had to learn. But I was like, why? Frustrating. Um, My elective, we get... I chose to take family law. So, um, Emory is very unique in this aspect that one else gets to take an elective. So, we got to choose from, like, family law, IP, international law. I don't know. There was some other ones, but I really like family law, y'all. Like, it's so interesting. My professor is so cool. He, like, I don't know. He's so hip with it. And a lot of it is, like, you know, issues that actually relate. So, like, right now we're talking about marriage and, like, the importance of marriage and how marriage is kind of, like, irrelevant now. And it's just, like, wow, I can just see my life playing out in this class. <laughs> like, we're talking about, like, casual sex and everything. It, it's just really interesting. Um... And then writing class, this semester we are writing an appellate brief and we're also doing an oral argument. So last semester we wrote the memo, the appellate brief, y'all, I'm so bad with I'm really lost. Um, it's a lot more complicated. Like the brief was really like just plug it into the template and make your arguments. But 
I mean, the memo was plug into your template and make the arguments. But the brief is not really like that. Like, you really have to come up with your own organization and everything. And I'm a person, I like a little bit of guidance. Like, I like starting points. I mean, I can come up with an argument, but can I at least get somewhere to start? Like, I'm new to this. But yeah, um, I'm excited for oral arguments at the end of the semester. That's going to be something that I haven't done before. Um, well, actually, I took mock trial in undergrad, but... I still feel like it's different. Um, it only works for law students or people with the LexisNexis account. So um, LexisNexis is a thing that you use to research cases online. Um, Emory gives us a free membership. I feel like every school, every law school gives students a free membership. But basically, every, um, you get these points. And with these points, you can buy, like, gift cards. You can buy electronics. You can buy jewelry. Pretty much anything you want um, to buy. And every day, you get 10 points for just, like, going on the website and, like, looking up anything. So I'm typing in hi, and I get my 10 points. But then you can also go to, like, training classes or do, like, these little online activities and get additional points. And these points, um, every 350 points is... A five dollar gift card so I had like so far I've had two five dollar gift cards to Starbucks I got some free coffee but more importantly I begin these Amazon gift cards y'all so I have like 10 things in my Amazon carts right now so I gotta earn my Lexus Nexus points to buy the stuff but last semester I bought like a dress and um some Sacha buttercup buttercup powder and it was all for free thanks to Lexus Nexus so woohoo go Lexus um I'm working on getting my points back up. They're kind of low right now. But yeah, um, so second semester is going, going, I want to say it's going good, but I don't know. I really feel a lot better about last semester, but I'm going to get it together. I'm going to do great this semester, and I hope you guys stay tuned. Yeah, so this video is going to be about law school grades.